Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to another episode of this free notebook course where we'll be covering updates that the developers have released since November 2023 to January 2024. Note for version 1.3.1 gave us the option to remove annotations and page background from our screenshots. To get started, take a screenshot using the lasso tool. At the bottom of the pop-up window, untick background and all annotations to remove them from your screenshot. For all annotations, you have several options. Selection only removes the annotations that you have deselected for the lasso tool. All annotations override the limitations you have set for the lasso tool. No annotations removes all the annotations from your screenshot. You can then add the screenshot to your notes. Or share it out of the app. Version 1.3.2 supports non-proportional scaling, which allows you to stretch or shrink your images. When importing documents from other apps, you can add to current notebook to add the pages to the notebook you currently have opened. Note for adds the pages after the page you're currently on, so it's important to find exactly where you want the pages to go before importing them. You can also choose to create new notebook to import the document as an independent notebook. You can name it, add tags, and find a location for it. Then save to add the new document to your notes. If you import a document while you're on the home page in Noteful, you don't get the option to add it to another notebook. You can only add it as a new notebook. Version 1.3.3 now lets you rearrange your favorite pens on the toolbar. Simply long press a pen to pick it up and drag it where you want. An icon also now appears on the notebook you are doing an audio recording in. So it's very easy to find your audio recordings. This disappears when you stop recording. Version 1.3.4 has a new setting for us to turn on or off under document editing. You can automatically open imported document when this option is turned on. We can also close multiple tabs at once under the down facing arrow on the tabs in the workspace. To do that, go to close other tabs to close all the other tabs except the one you're on.
version 1.3.6 can crop and resize pages to add margins. To get started, go to the three dots icon and under the Options tab, go to Crop and Resize Page. You can then enlarge the page to add the space you need. The app gives you measurements for the margin size under the Settings icon. This adds room around your page, which is perfect for more annotations. It works on both native pages and PDFs. The same way you add space, you can crop the pages. You can choose to apply the crop to the current page, all pages in your notebook, or a range of pages. Under the settings icon, go to custom to resize your page. or change its orientation. Scaling just enlarges this window. It probably just helps you see the page contents better when you're cropping. You can also use your fingers to quickly scale the window. That's much faster. The last update is that the go to page icon under the three dots icon on the options tabs is now much easier to access in your notebooks. Those are all the updates that we have received so far from Notefall. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next episode.